My name is Jeremiah Craig. I'm a singer-songwriter, performer, and I've played hundreds of shows live, on stage, solo, in a band, and also online. So I know how intimidating it can be to play in front of people. Some of you may be even experiencing stage fright, right, where you freeze up and you can't perform or you can't perform as well. You act like a different person. It's really weird and stressful. I've definitely experienced stage fright, and while everybody is different, I think that I've come up with a few techniques and things that you could do to maybe overcome it yourself. But before we fix a problem, we need to identify the problem. So why are we actually getting stage fright? One reason you might be having stage fright is because of low confidence. Maybe you aren't confident in your abilities as a performer, or maybe you are afraid of messing up in front of a lot of people. Going right along with that first low confidence reason, you might also be just afraid of judgment. Many of us get stage fright because we feel like we're gonna be judged harshly depending on how well we do. Unfortunately, being judged is just kind of necessary when it comes to any kind of performance. It's key to people connecting with your art or not. And you want people to enjoy your act, but that's just wanting positive judgment. So what you're really afraid of is being judged harshly and people not liking it. And I'm sorry to break it to you, but no matter how good you are, there will always be people who just don't like what you do. Luckily for us, we don't need all 7 billion people on earth to enjoy our stuff. We only need a small percentage of that. And there are things that you can do to put yourself in good positions to perform to audiences with a higher probability of liking your stuff. But we'll get into that in a second. First, we gotta talk about maybe you're an introvert. Lots of other people have stage fright just because they're afraid of being the center of attention. Maybe you're a little bit of an introvert and that's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. However, it does make performing and being on stage a little bit more difficult. However, there are lots of solutions to that issue and all of the other ones that I mentioned. So let's talk about the first solution, having a stage name. If you have low confidence or maybe you're afraid of being the center of attention, try making a stage name for yourself. That way when you're judged, either positively or negatively, the persona that you created for the stage gets that judgment. I mean, as long as you don't do anything illegal. <laughs> So you're sort of separating yourself a little bit from your performer stage name. I did this when I started at college and I started performing at open mic nights. I created a stage name for myself so it was a little bit easier for me to get up on stage and perform and then maybe my classmates wouldn't recognize me or recognize the name when I go back to class. So it's just something that I did starting out and I was able to then put my real name out there more and more and more. For those of you who care, my stage name was Jack Swift. Another solution to overcoming stage fright is playing the right shows for you. For example, me being a singer-songwriter of mainly folk music, it makes a lot more sense and is way more comfortable for me to play at the Flagstaff Folk Festival than when I played at random classic rock cover band bars. So set yourself up for the least stressful performance. Or you could just make your own show, have it in your friend's house or garage or your basement, or rent a building out, an event space, where you can host your own show. Some of my best and most favorite shows are shows that I've put on myself. Even though that could be a little bit intimidating because you set it up all yourself and you're inviting your friends, your family and fans, like those are the only people who are gonna show up there, you have complete control over it and you pretty much know everybody who's there. So that is also a great way to set yourself up for success. Or you could do the exact opposite and test your stage fright by playing someplace where it doesn't really make sense. In my case, that would be playing folk music in a classic rock cover band bar, which I've done several times, and it makes me understand why several of you have stage fright. <laughs> because you will get heckled. Another solution to stage fright that is really fun is being in a group. Being on stage with others in your band or your act really takes a lot of pressure off because you're sharing the spotlight. You are not the sole center of attention. You are still part of the attention, but there are two, three, four, five, or more people up there with you sharing that attention. It takes a lot of pressure off. Another solution is to control the fight or flight response. When we get that adrenaline pumping, we go up on stage, see all of those people in front of us, it kind of clicks that evolutionary thing where we are like, a lot can go wrong right now unless we make the right decisions. And that either leads to pushing through and actually making a good performance or running away. 
and sometimes we freeze, right? And we can't do anything. Now I have something that I do to help control fight or flight and help me push forward and actually fight to put on an awesome performance, but it's gonna sound a little corny. When I was in middle school and high school, I did karate and I did it competitively too. So I went to tournaments and fought people, sparred them. There is an obvious winner and an obvious loser. So that is very intimidating. And to overcome this, my sensei referred to that feeling of nervousness and intimidation as like butterflies in your stomach, right? You've probably heard this as well, this analogy. There's a bunch of butterflies in your stomach and they're flying all around, making you feel like you have no idea which direction to go. My sensei said, bring all of those butterflies together, visualize them coming together and make them fly in the same direction. Super corny, I know, but it freaking works. Visualize you taking that nervousness, all of those butterflies floating around in a really annoying way inside yourself and control them, focus them on the task of performing and fight through it and put on an awesome show. Another sort of solution to this is realize that you will mess up. It's not a fun thing to talk about, but I guarantee you it will 100% happen. It's what you're afraid of, but everybody makes mistakes. Even the best of the best have a wrong note here and there when they're on stage. How you handle the mistake on stage is what separates the good performers from the amateurs. Many times you can improvise and move past a mistake as long as you stay in time and continue as if nothing ever happened. And most times people will never even know anything was wrong. If you keep going, it rarely, if ever, is a big deal. This is what they mean when they say the show must go on, mistakes or not. And the final solution that I have that you can use to overcome stage fright is to practice in low pressure situations, something like an open mic night. At most open mic nights, there are generally low expectations. Sometimes they're very competitive, but most times it's pretty chill. So people are there to overcome their own stage fright issues, practice new songs, new material, and network with other musicians and performers. Overcoming stage fright relies on recognizing all of these things and maybe focusing on one or two at a time until you completely overcome your fear of the stage. Do you have any other solutions? Please include them down in the comments for folks coming through looking for all options. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I'll see you next time. Practice these solutions Your goals will be in sight And in the process You can overcome your stage fright Yeah Thanks for watching today My name is Jeremiah Craig Check out these other videos that I have over here And don't forget to subscribe while you're here as well I'll see you next time Peace. Have a good one.